What's up guys? This is Daniel from the Genuine Human. Uh, sorry if it's a little bit loud, there are cars right nearby. Uh, I'm right at a uh, public park where I, where I love to exercise. And I, right now I'm in front of an ostrich, um, I don't know the right words, it's like, like a mini zoo. So I don't know if you can see these beautiful beings behind me walking around, uh, going about their business. You might see them, you might see them in, in more detail while you watch this video. And I came here many, many times over, and every time I, I saw these these ostriches here, I felt like there is something that I need to speak about. There, there's there's a voice that that I have to be a voice for these beautiful animals here, not just not just the ostriches, right? right there right here behind me but in general animals and the way we humans have been treating animals for for ages and we do not always treat them well even if even when we think we are actually we are actually treating them well okay so today's topic is going to be about freedom and the topic of freedom it includes animals it includes nature includes the environment and we as humans, we seem to think we are the masters of this world. We, we are the big boss and we control everything. Everything is just a tool for us. And that is, this is totally the wrong mindset. This is not a genuine human mindset. The genuine human sees him or herself as part of a greater whole. And he or she has no right, he, has, he or she has no right to control another living being whether it's another human or another bird or another mammal or another fish it doesn't matter even another plants okay there is some sense of equality there is every every life on this earth has has an equal worth equal worth of being and we should learn to respect that so today's topic is going to be focused a little bit about animals because the message that I want to share in today's video is that seeing things like this like these beautiful ostriches very very majestic creatures that are being trapped by us humans and and you may think yeah well they, they are well off they are they're being fed they're being taken care of and whatever but that is not good enough okay why why do we humans Feel the need that we need to to control animals and to put them into tightly tightly controlled spaces instead of allowing each animal out there to live wild and freely this is exactly what we want for ourselves right we want to have freedom we want not nobody and nothing to control us and that of course is a huge is a huge topic that I will that will go into some other day maybe but we need to be willing to, to offer freedom to the animals as well. And it, it pains me every time I see it. It pains me to see the ostriches here and, and, I've, and I've looked into their eyes many times over and, and I really feel like they, they are not happy with that situation. I, I know I wouldn't be. I know I wouldn't be. And, and it's not the only occasion. I, 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 often, saw, I often saw birds in caves being held in caves, even though even though they are they are practically screaming like, "Get me out of here! This is this is an awful place to be. I want to be free. I want to fly around." And and the humans are just like, or, or the, the the owners, you know, the people that that keep those those animals, those birds hostage. They seem to think like, I, I don't know what they're thinking, but but hopefully they're not thinking, "Oh yeah, they're singing, so I must be happy. This is ridiculous." You need to listen. You need to listen to the animal's voice, um, even though like it's it's not directly the language we we can speak. Like like I'm speaking right now, you know, there is still a sort of emotional and spiritual connection between humans and animals that allows us to understand their messages, even even though we don't speak their their language per se. And and I I've seen dogs being chained up. I've seen. I've seen I've seen a mother dog being chained up and and her cubs just just wanted just wanted to drink 
drink some milk, but she was she was so sick. She was she was like she seemed like she was about to die, and 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 she was malnourished, and it seemed like she didn't have she didn't have the energy left to 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 give any milk to her to her puppies. So so she so she refused. So she she scared them away, and you know if that that was a human family, that would be pretty obvious for everyone how awful a sight that is but it's no different for animals and and also throughout my life and in in jobs i i i've experienced doing over time i i also have been to or, or generally i've been to zoos and i've been also been to aquariums and well i've been in aquariums when i when i was adult and mature enough and started to make to, to make make my mind um, up on, on these issues and I really felt like this is this is goddamn awful I, I feel like I did I do not want to pay to pay a, a company an organization to keep animals uh, in, in in capture and because 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 it feels awful this is this is an awful thing to do I, I, I honestly believe in freedom. It's it is it is a it is a value. It's a virtue that we should seek and that we should create and manifest in this world. Not not just for ourselves, but for every living living being. <laughs> and another thing, if we go really deep into this, um, is like the topic of of having pets, of taking care of. Pets. Um, so, and this might be this might be a thing where where people like um, will will become defensive and and whatnot. But when you when you go when you go down this route, when you go down the, the route of being vegan and being compassionate to all living beings and wanting wanting to achieve freedom for everyone and everything in this in this greater good, then I think you cannot. That you ca that you cannot seriously uh, encourage um, keeping keeping an animal as a pet because it doesn't align with those things. It doesn't align with freedom. Um, and to kind of um, let's let's look at it that way. Assume assume you would you'd be taking care of a dog. If you take a, take care of your dog, you want to to feed the dog the the species specific food, which is raw meat. It's a it's a carnivore. It's a carnivore species. It's it's related to the wolf family. So so meat it's is where it's at. Um, so then then you you kind of if you if you follow you know if you want to follow vegan lifestyle, which I highly encourage because because that's what you're supposed to do as a human being if you want to live genuinely and all that. That is, uh, then you should want your dog to eat meat. But then comes the question: like, um, are you gonna provide the meat for it? Because, like, suppose you have like one of those small, those highly, highly uh, bred species, those that couldn't even stand up a fight against a single chicken, let alone kill it and eat it. Um, you 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 will end up to have to have to provide the the raw meat for your dog if you want it to. To live as healthily as as generally as as it can, um, but then you're basically saying, okay, so you take care for your dog by killing another human, uh, by killing another animal, by killing another living being to feed it, and you know, like you can't you can't really call yourself an animal lover if you think it's okay to kill some animals to feed others. Okay, it's it's a whole different thing if the dog. Or, or the animal that you're keeping as a pet would live in the wilderness and it would hunt and find something to eat on its own terms that would be completely different then then we have a natural natural situation but when we when we create a situation where we keep an animal as a pet and and we feed it with the the meat of killed off other animals you know you know you know we we really caught, really getting at some some <laughs> ethical ethical issues there and in my opinion 
<clears throat> in my opinion, you you know you cannot be a vegan and, and have a dog or a cat. It doesn't work. And and I actually heard some some vegans actually feed feed their pets vegan food as well. And I don't know like how good that works. Well, if it does, well, okay. But I highly doubt that that yeah, these kind these kind of animals can really thrive on such a diet. Um, you know, it's like it's like humans eating meat. It's it's not the ideal for us. We need to to keep the species specific diet. <laughs> it doesn't matter which species, okay? Um, so then you would then would probably say like, okay, so then you have to like. Um, Restrict yourself if you really want to have a pet. Then you have to restrict yourself on only taking care of pets that that are that eat plant-based diets as well. And then you don't have that issue that I'm that I'm speaking about. And and that is true. But but still, like no matter no matter like how you twist and turn it, at the end of the day, if you're keeping a pet, you're you're keeping that animal in capture. And the message of today's video is. I would, I would really prefer to see all animals on this planet to live freely and to live in the wilderness, like it's supposed to, like it's like it's supposed to be. Okay, we, um, we only started, we humans only started to uh, to have pets because we, at some point, wanted animals to become our tools that we use. Okay, so. Um, Historically, dogs, for example, have been used to uh, to help take care of, uh, of flocks of sheep, to 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 be better able to control huge huge numbers of sheep, uh, or to protect kind of protect uh, territory, protect uh, your your house, your place. And we have we have bred sheep, we have bred cows, we have bred uh, goats, um, ducks, chickens, all those animals for our own selfish selfish use even though if we if, if humans um, throughout throughout the entire time would have uh, kept our natural ways would have lived genuinely human lives we we never would have gone down we would never have went down that route um, okay but the past is past it's done we cannot change the past so all we can do is uh, talk about talk about these things now here Right here, right now, and think about how how we like what kind of world we want to manifest. And in my opinion, I want to see a world where every living being is able to to live freely, not being not being in cages like like these poor ostriches right right behind me. Even even if they're taken good care of, it, in my opinion, it is not good enough. We can do better than that. And and I think. It would improve relationships between humans and other animals if there's if, if there's not this controlling, this this uh, codependency between between both um, beings or species in that case. Um, so so I really believe it would be something that is that is for for the greater good of it all. Okay, so <laughs> this video was a bit longer than I expected. Um, but there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you if you like this video, hit the hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, uh, share your thoughts with me. I uh, would love to connect with you as my audience. And I will see you next time. Until then, be genuine.